you know who it is. You know who I be. It ain't no secret. It's Mr. Lyons coming to you live and direct on this terrific Thursday, September the 10th, 2020, and we are in here like the air most fear. So you know what we gonna do? We gonna G-A-T-A -A and get after these academics, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Not only is it a terrific Thursday, September the 10th, today is gonna be some isolated thunderstorms and a high 84 degrees. But we gonna make it happen, cause we already inside doing virtual school, right? So we gonna make it happen, all right? So our quote today comes from Will Durant. Now Will says, education is a progressive discovery of our own ignorance. Oh my goodness, oh, let that sink in, let that sink in, all right? Now, here at Carter Community Charter School, you know what we do. We believe I matter, you matter, we matter. Now, our mission, our goal, our motto, first off, is to uh, make sure that, that let you know that college prep begins where? In kindergarten. Now follow that up, our mission is to prepare children for college and other productive lifelong learning experiences beginning what? In kindergarten, all right? So that's our goal, that's what we're doing each and every day. With your help, our help, hey, we gonna make it happen, all right? So there it is, so what, what's up next? School news, school news, so what's going on in the school news? All right, food nutrition program is popping. So if you have not heard, if you do not know, Yes, we're delivering food to bus stops, to homes, and letting you get that hot lunch and that free breakfast, all right? But we open it up for everybody, 0 to 18. You can come by our school every afternoon and get you a hot lunch and a free breakfast, you know what I'm saying? So the breakfast is free, the lunch is free. It's going to be a hot lunch, and the breakfast is going to be a little cold, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, you can warm it up. Sometimes they have some, damn, hey, them lunches be big. Them, lung, them lungs just be banging. All right, so other than that, HBCU, you know, the virtual tour ends today. So if you've not had a chance to go in there and check out the HBCU, I, I would hope they would open up to everybody. But give us everybody a chance to go check out the HBCU tour. But it's extra credit to middle school. So middle school, take advantage of that. Uh, just All you have to do is go in there and write a paragraph. Five sentences. All right? So go make that happen. Um, next up, uh, fall break. Fall break is October the 14th through the 19th. We come back that Tuesday on the 20th. So it'll be here before we know it. It'll be here before we know it. After that, hey, um, happy birthday. I got a happy birthday shout out to a first grader. Who is it? Who is it? The uh, DeMonte Roland. Uh, it's his birthday. Happy birthday to you. All right. Happy birthday, DeMonte. All right. Classroom news. All right, we're going to start off with kindergarten with Miss Beattie. Now, Miss Beattie, y'all working on some number sense 1 through 10. All right, keep that up. Keep that up. And y'all identifying characters in the story. Ooh, ah, I like characters in the story. I like the main character of the story. All right, check that out. All right, so first grade, Miss Colson, y'all working on mastering numbers 1 through 20. Get all the adding and subtracting, mastering those, those numbers 1 through 20. I would love to see that on some of those classes. All right, so uh, outside of that, y'all also mastering your sight words. All right, so big ups to first grade. Second grade, Miss McGuire and Mr. Uh, Mr. Carrington, y'all were um, working in math. Y'all working on place value. And not only y'all working on place value, you got a quiz today. So, be ready, all right? Then ELA, y'all working on those reading skills, all right? Uh, third grade, Mrs. Green and Mrs. Jones, all right? Uh, in math, y'all working on word problems. So y'all still doing those add and subtracting word problems. So keep it up. Reading comprehension is, is very key in every subject. Um, then y'all in science, laws of motion, hey, Miss Jones get, got y'all pumping. Y'all got those nouns going. Y'all got those base words going. Y'all doing those asking and answering questions. You you all are doing it big, so keep that up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Fourth grade, you know you got Miss Bell doing it big in fourth grade. Big up to Miss Bell in fourth grade. Hey, I'm watching you. Hey, y'all re did real good on that place value. Making up, make, 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 I don't even want to talk about it. But, hey, great job, Miss Bell, in fourth grade with place value. But right now, y'all working on comparing, ordering, and rounding numbers. So I know y'all going to do just as well with that, too. All right, and then in science, y'all working on those, those science processing skills. So keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Because once you get to me, we running with science, all right? And then fifth grade, you know today we taking a quiz on what? Powers of 10. Did very good yesterday. So if you missed the assessment yesterday, go and make it up. All right. And in math, we're working on reading, writing, and comparing decimals down to the ten thousands. All right. We uh, so we working on that as well. And the science we're working on collecting, organizing, and communicating data. So we gonna get it pumping. We gonna get it pumping. So then the ELA, 
In fifth grade, you don't say what they're working on in the fifth grade. What they're working on in fifth grade. In fifth grade, the students will be analyzing how the setting affect the story in Mrs. Jules. So, yes, that's what Mrs. Bradby is doing with her fifth grade. But outside of that, fifth grade announcements, hey, Miss Bradby would like to give a shout out to fifth grade language arts students who have completed all of their ELA work. Now, these are the students who have done this. So, shout out to these students. Hey, big ups to Jemiah Carpenter. Uh, Jerry on Hall, Jada Bumpkins, Jada Holder, Makai Howard, Janae Jerrigan, and Cameron Smith. Oh, did all your work. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And some of those same students are doing the same thing in math and science. So, hey, I want to give you a big ups too. All right. Then, in addition, Miss Bradbury would like to give a shout out to Mr. Lyons Homeroom. Why? Because she said in the last two days, we had perfect attendance. Now, I know we had perfect attendance more than the last two days, but that's neither here nor there. But she want to give us a shout out, and she want to challenge her homeroom to try to do the same. I don't think it's going to happen, but hey, that's neither here nor there. All right, so big ups to Mr. Lyons' homeroom for perfect attendance, according to Ms. Bradley the last two days. But don't fret. We've been doing it big for like weeks. All right, now, what's going on in language arts? Now, in sixth grade, our language arts with Ms. Bradby, the students will be analyzing characters in the breadwinner. All sixth grade students need to finish their HMH growth measurement test with their new online textbooks. So I'm pretty sure you know what those acronyms mean because I don't. All right, now, in seventh grade with Ms. Bradby, the students will be analyzing the plot of Rogue Wave. All seventh grade students need to finish their H. MH growth measurement test with their new online textbook. So I'm pretty sure y'all know what those acronyms mean because Mr. Lyons don't. All right, so that is the, the fifth grade ELA, the sixth grade ELA, the seventh grade ELA, but let's get into the sixth grade middle school math, science, and social studies. Now, in math, sixth grade, you all will be continuing the area of polygons and the quiz is today. It ain't no secret. All right, in science is great. Make sure you are logging into your science class at 1.15 every day. Because some of you are not doing it. Because today, on Friday, tomorrow, you got a vocabulary quiz in, in science. Now, in social studies, you all doing the geography unit and the vocabulary quiz will be coming up on Monday. So, ooh, over weekend, so you best be ready. Now, seventh grade math, y'all continue to, um, with the unit rate and ratios, you have a quiz on Monday. Uh, seventh grade science, you have, you're doing force and motion, you have a vocabulary quiz on Friday. In seventh grade social studies, you are working on globalization and growth. You have a unit vocabulary quiz on Monday that's coming up. So it ain't no secret. Be prepared. Now, in math for eighth grade, yes, sir, yes, sir, y'all continue the rigid transformations, and you have a mid-unit test on Tuesday. Prepare yourself, because you're not preparing yourself for success. You're only preparing yourself for failure. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Now, ELA, this is with Mr. Denny. You all are working on, you know, tests, uh, evidence, and reading comprehensions, but Mr. Denny said, all work from last week will you put in your grade book as zeros if you ain't done it. And that goes for the whole school. Now, please check your child's Cornell notes to see what they are doing in class. Parents, if you, any parents out there listening, check it. Check behind them because they ain't being very truthful right now. All right? Now, in science, eighth grade, y'all working on matter and elements. You have a vocabulary quiz tomorrow on Friday. And then in social studies, eighth grade, y'all working on civic uh, and government. Y'all can have a vocabulary quiz on Monday. So all students need to be completing all their missing assignments across the board. This every grade level from K to eight. Please, please, please go to Google Classrooms, complete all your assignments, get everything in. You know, and I am Mr. Lyons. That's all I got today. So you know how I end it. You know what I'm saying? I want everybody to attack your day, attack your academics with relentless tenacity, and bend your will to what? Greatness. I am Mr. Lyons, and I'm gone. Peace.